Two weeks ago, there was a tramp sat on fire in Bits Park, squirted in lighter fluid and his big coat lit, so he went up like rubbish, like the swept up leaves. The talk's been of nought else on the telly and pinned to the boards outside the paper shops. All the whys and what fors and what must be dones. And this last week, every time my dad's driven off, the black slick under his cars look more and more like the outline of a body left scorched into the road. I wouldn't know where the nutters live, whether they live under Eden Bridge in the city or in one of the parks after the gates have been locked and the parkies have thrown everyone else out, whether they hide in a bush with their carrier bags, then sleep in the parkie's shed. But I can't stop thinking about the man with the gappy smile, smiling at his radio in a shed full of rakes and signs. Because to burn someone when they lie in a heap isn't a nutter's work. It takes more than one to gang up and decide what's rubbish and deserves to gown. And I'm thinking of the lads like shadows outside Spa, all ganged up to agree to out.